Hey everybody, happy Thursday. So I'm out and about sitting in traffic and it is about 2.30. I've been out all for like three hours. I went to Nordstrom Rack, I went to Burlington Coat Factory, I went to Ulta, and then I went to Nothing Bunt Cakes because tomorrow is Daryl's birthday. He'll be 51. And so I got him a shirt at Nordstrom Rack. And then at Burlington Coat Factory, I got him some cologne, just a little $14 bottle of Curve. But he's had Curve and he's liked it and I liked it, so I know I'm safe with that. So I got the Curve. And then um Where did I go? Where did I say? And then at Nothing but cakes. I got five little bunt cakes. And I should have just made them a cake, it would have been cheaper. I spent $24 on little bunt cakes, but one or two of them are for myself. Um, but that's okay. So, yeah, that's what's the dealio. And now I'm on my way home. It is so hot. It's 94 degrees, but it is hot and it's a little muggy. And my waistband is just soaking wet. <laughs> but anywho, so tomorrow he gets off of work at 2 because that's their summer hours. And so I thought about baking a chocolate cake. And then I thought, oh. It'll take too long to bake, and then it has to cool, and then I have to make the frosting, and then he'll be home. He might be home before I'm done. So, you know, I just went and bought the bun cakes. And I need, I need to put them in the fridge. And so I'm gonna have to try to hide them, like in the vegetable bin or something. A place where he doesn't ever look. And so, yeah, that's that. Um, thought about maybe going to Dollar Tree and getting a Mylar balloon tomorrow, but eh. Oh yeah, and I also bought him his crew for his hair, and I got him a birthday card. So he'll be alright. I hope he likes his shirt that I got him at Nordstrom Rack. It's the dry, it's the quick dry shirt. It's a Nike shirt, and it's white with thin black stripes and a collar like a golf shirt or something. He can totally, he likes those types of materials and he can wear it to work. Or, and yesterday he just bought some black shorts. Or I mean on Monday when we went to Park City and so this shirt will match the shorts. But hopefully it's not too big. It's double X, he wears double X, but that thing seemed massive, so whatever. Guess we'll just wait and see. So I'm on my way home and then I will show you everything I got. And I'll take them out one by one. So this one's his. I got him two of these, double chocolate chip, because he loves chocolate, chocolate chip everything. Um, this one's a marble, which is really good. They're all really good. They're so moist. Mm -hmm. This one is white chocolate raspberry. That's mine. That's mine. And this is like cream cheese frosting, you guys. And then this is a lemon, which is mine. <laughs> oh, I thought I, okay, I only got him three cakes. I got myself two and him three. So he gets two chocolates and then a marble. And then if he wanted one of these, he can, but he'll have plenty. So anyway, I'm going to put these in the fridge somewhere and hide them. And then tomorrow, before he gets home from work, I'll take him out of the fridge. Okay, they're hiding behind my buns. Alright, here's his shirt. Not sure if you can really see it. I'm at a terrible angle, but it's 
kind of like the boingy. It's the dry fit. So it's that boingy material. And it's just black and white stripes and there's the swoosh and it's sewn in. And I got this for $29. So that's not bad. Not bad at all for a Nike shirt like this. All right, time to hide this. Here is his curve. Um, they had to take this out of the plastic box that it was locked in, but so the bottom looks kind of hammered, but it was only $14.99. It's just a little bottle, a fluid ounce, but that's okay. And he's had this before, so I know he likes it and I like it, so it's all good. I just did my nails, and yesterday I did my toenails. I've just been in a plain Jane mood. So I was going to paint my nails with this color, which I just got for $4.97. And it's called... I can't read it without my glasses. It's called Bear With Me. And it's a cream. But I just wanted to go sheer today. So this is Essie's Mademoiselle. This is my very favorite natural sheer color. And then this one is on my toes. This is China Glaze, and I got this at Ulta on sale a year or so ago for $3.47. And this is called Innocence. So let me get in the light. Okay, so here's my toenails, and this is what I used. I love this on my toes. And then on my fingernails, here are my fingernails. So plain Jane, but I like it. I've worn this on my fingernails too before and I liked it, but this just is so nice and smooth when it goes on and it doesn't, it doesn't streak at all and it just made painting my toenails a joy. A joy! And same with this nail polish, it doesn't streak either. So I have three coats of each. Three coats here, three coats here. Hey everybody, happy Friday. And guess what today is? It's Daryl's birthday. He is 51 today, so for exactly one week, we were both the same age. Mm. So I'm getting his birthday stuff ready. Woo. Oh, itchy goya up my nose. So I have this leftover Bath and Body Works tissue paper. So I just put his shirt in there, and then I'm going to put it in this bag that I found upstairs. Don't we all recycle these bags? We receive them and then we keep them and then we reuse them, give them away. I stacked his cakes. I wanted to go like that. Oh, cool, it does work. I thought it was gonna fall off. All right, here's his crew that he wanted. Here's his cologne that he probably didn't really want. He still got other colognes, but. And then here's his birthday card, and I got it because it looks like Momo. And it says, celebrate like a cat today. Eat, sleep, ignore everyone who annoys you. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much what he does every single day. So every single day must be his birthday, right? So I'm going to get everything wrapped. I'm going to put these in two separate little gift sacks and just have fun with it.
up, nothing major, but it is what it is, and he'll love it. I just hope he likes his shirt. I hope he doesn't want to take it back. But anywho, he won't be home for a few more hours, but I just wanted to set this up. The cakes don't have to stay in the fridge, and they most likely won't be going back in. They'll be eaten way too fast to even be worried about it. So anywho, there it is. I wanted to show you though, look at these flowers. He gave me these for my birthday last Friday and not one flower has died. Not one flower has even wilted. Isn't that amazing? It's incredible. And I have filled the jar. The water got down to here. I filled it back up to here the other day. But it is so beautiful. I love it and I adore it. And then the great big bouquet I got from my brother and sister-in-law, a lot of it died and so I took some out and threw those away and I cut these down and put them back in. But you know, they're, they're hanging in there. The roses are pretty much dead, but they're okay. So yeah, so I guess I should like that one's already dying. But I hate when flowers die. It makes me sad. Well, here's my wreath. I'm not quite finished yet. I have one more ring to go. One more ring because this has four rings. So I just have to do this one and then I'll be done. Isn't that so cute? This is what I'm going to put up for Thanksgiving on my door. But then I'm like, oh, there are so many cute wreaths I want to make. And I would rather put that on the front door. So what would I do with this one? I guess I could give it away. But this one has tons of man hours in it. <laughs> like seriously, serious man hours. But And then over here, I'm starting another scarf. Actually... This one I finished, so let me show you. Here it is. I was working on it, I don't know, last week sometime, but I finished it and got the little tassels put on it. And I like it. I liked it so much that I'm making another one. And this one I think is a little skinnier. Yeah, it's still connected to the... Thing. but yeah I made this one just a little skinnier I like skinny scarves so I told Daryl that he can have this one and I can have this one he's like well I'm not gonna wear it I said I know but we can get our pictures taken in it like I'll do a selfie in our scarves anyway so this was fun to make and I just like crocheting silly little scarves so I have Christmas scarves and now Halloween scarves. I'm almost done with this one. I just have a few more rows to do and then the tassels. And then I'm done. And one of you asked me, what kind of stitch do I use? I have no idea. I have no idea. All I know is I go four loops. I do four loops in one stitch. I don't know what, I don't even know what that means. So people ask me, can you do a, a video on how to crochet? Well, I, I don't do crochet videos because I don't know what stitches are called and I'm not quite sure what I'm doing and I wouldn't want to give you any bad information. And then this one, I'm using the H hook because the yarn is a little thin, but yeah, so. There are tons and tons of crochet videos out there though, so yeah, way better than I could ever do. So go check them out. Anyway, that's that for my crafting. Oh boy! Oh boy! <laughs> my little bunny. I call her my little bunny because she's as soft as a bunny. You're as soft as a bunny. And I just love you. Boop. Boop. Boop, boop, boop. 
But yeah, for dinner tonight, I'm not sure where we're going. It's completely up to Daryl. I think we might go to a place called Sakana. We go there a lot. It's one of my favorite places. He likes their sushi. I don't like sushi. I like suhi. <laughs> But um, I like the tempura and the chicken balls, the chicken ta tas, the chicken tats. <laughs> That's what they're, they're chicken tats. They're not chicken ta tas. <laughs> oh my gosh. So we might go there, but we'll just have to see. And hopefully our friends can go with us they, that went with us when it was my birthday. But <laughs> anyway. So I'm not eating because I want to be hungry for dinner. And yeah. That's all I got right now. That's all I got. So in case you didn't see yesterday's video, let me show you the flavors of cakes. They have different flavors, like they also had pumpkin, or no, they had carrot cake, and I can't remember what else, but Anyway, this is the chocolate chocolate chip. He loves like chocolate chocolate chip muffins, so I got him two of those. I got a lemon. I got a choc a white chocolate raspberry, and then this is marbled. I should have got two marbles because they're so good. I'm thinking these two will actually be for me. <laughs> And he'll get these three here. But the cream cheese frosting is delightful. You have no idea. It's like pure heaven. And these cakes are so moist. Moist. That it's just not even funny. So, yep. Yep, yep, yep. Can't wait to eat mine. Hey everybody, welcome to the closet. <sighs> yes, today is Sunday. <laughs> I never did finish the vlog on Friday. Um, you know, Daryl and I, we were going to go out to dinner with our friends and then I just wasn't feeling very good. I must have pulled my back from mowing the lawn the night before. Yes, I mow the lawn now. I just learned how to mow the lawn. Um, a week and a half ago, all by myself, Daryl taught me how to mow the lawn, and so I mow the lawn now. He doesn't like mowing the lawn. I don't mind doing it. It's just the front lawn. The back lawn is nothing but weeds. So, I mow the lawn. It's no big deal. But, seeing as how it was only my second time, when I was mowing, I forgot that the handlebar has these two knobs that you push down with your thumbs to make it pull. You know, it like pulls you along. It helps. It's easier to to mow because it pulls you. Well, I wasn't pressing that down, and so I was like pushing. <coughs> I was pushing so hard, and the neighbors drove by and saw me, and I was like, I was like <laughs> trying to mow the lawn. And it's not even a hill, but it looked like I was pushing uphill. It was hilarious. And then, you know, I had to keep pulling out and getting under the big pine tree. And it, it must have pulled my back down here. And then, so that was Thursday night. So Friday day, I felt okay. But as the day went on, I kind of felt worse and worse. And um, then my stomach kind of started hurting. And I just wasn't feeling good. So... I was really sleepy and I just wanted to lay down and take a nap which led to just going to sleep and so we never did go out for Daryl's birthday dinner but um so that was the end of the vlog I didn't even finish the vlog because I just went to bed and then so Saturday uh, we just ate our cakes that I bought. Oh, those bunt cakes, those nothing bunt cakes. Oh, Daryl loved his cakes. He's eating his very last one right now as we speak. 
and he loved his cologne. He wore it today. He loved his shirt that I got him. And um yeah, he he likes his crew for his hair that I bought him, but he uses that all the time. So anyway, he liked his presents. He had a fun birthday. Um so the next day we did go out with our friends to Sakana. It's a Japanese restaurant by our house and we love it. Excuse me. Excuse me. We just got home from dinner. <laughs> so we went to Sakana and he had sushi. Um, our friends had sushi, but I don't like sushi or fish or seafood. So I had the chicken tats. They're just little tempura chicken balls, like pieces of chicken breast in tempura and deep fried. And then I had a side of vegetable tempura. I love tempura anything. And so that's what I had. And I'll insert a picture of it right here, right now, of my leftovers. Okay, here are my leftovers. Right here I have my chicken tats. And then right here is some white rice smothered with teriyaki sauce. And then I have the vegetable tempura, a zucchini, and a sweet potato, and a piece of onion. So there was that. And um, I'll probably be eating those, nibbling on them tomorrow because I don't want to waste that. It's too good. So let's see. And then... That night after we got back, well yeah, it was last night after we got back from Sakana, he stayed home and ate a cake and then I went for a walk. And when I was on my walk, I found my first little treasure. Um, I was walking along the sidewalk and I noticed there was a Christmas tree hook, you know, like a ornament hook. And um, there was a sign that said yard sale on the corner. And so I'm thinking, oh, I bet you this Christmas ornament hook was probably from the yard sale. Somebody was probably dropped, went to the yard sale and came back this way and dropped the hook on the ground or whatever. So I'm walking and I, I see the hook and then I take a few more steps and I found this little thing. This itty bitty wooden ornament. Isn't she so cute? I don't know what it is or who she is. There's nothing on it. It's probably just a little generic wooden ornament for a little miniature wooden tree or something. I, I had one of these from like the 80s. Oh, excuse me. Oh, and um, so and then I noticed it was missing an arm, but I didn't take the time to stop to look for the arm because there were cars coming and stuff and so I thought well when I walk back around again I'll look for the arm so I was walking back I came back around for my second walk around and I um, noticed that not only was there that one hook on the ground that I saw first but there were also two more little hooks ornament hooks on the ground just a little bit away so I was just kind of looking around along the edge of the grass while I was walking and I didn't see anything and so then I saw the extra two little hooks up above you know like I don't know a few inches above and right in the grass right on the on the edge of the grass I saw the little arm just sitting there in the grass and I was like oh I found the arm so I'm gonna glue her little arm on I mean, she kind of looks old. I mean, I'm sure she's old, but not that old. It's nothing, you know. But isn't that so cute? So that's my little trinket treasure that I found on my walk. And I just thought that was so cute. So I'm going to glue her little arm on. and I'll do something special with her. I don't know what. I'm not going to hang her on my tree. She'll get lost on it. I'll just, like hang her somewhere in my kitchen and I can keep her in there all year all year long like hang her on a cute little sp in a spot all year long I don't know I'm rambling but anyway that's my little treasure so then I just came home from my walk took a shower and went to bed watched TV went to bed 
And so today, we went out to a place called Coachman's. It's one of our favorite restaurants. And we met with our brother and sister-in-law and their kids, my two little nieces. They're so cute. I haven't seen, we haven't seen each other at all since December. And so we met there for dinner and my poor little niece, she's the oldest one, she, she's nine. Um, she will be nine in like a week. She was fine, and then all of a sudden she got really sick to her stomach. I mean, she I don't know if it's something she ate or what, but she was like ready to throw up, but she couldn't throw up. She was fine for like the first hour we were there, and then just like that, she got sick to her stomach. Um, she didn't end up throwing up, but she lives way up in the canyon, so it probably it takes about an hour or so to get home. Poor thing, she had to drive home in the back seat feeling all nauseous, but... Anyway, she I checked on her and she said her mom said she's doing well and she's just in bed now and it wasn't like her to get sick like that but so hopefully she'll get over whatever that little bug was and and be good to go. And um yeah. And that's it. And so I gave my wreath that I made to you know, my I gave my um, Thanksgiving wreath to my sister-in-law for her birthday because her birthday is in a few days. And so I thought, you know what, I'm going to give this to my sister-in-law for her birthday. And so um, I'll go ahead and put that in here so that you can see it and you'll see it all finished. I finished it up today. It was really cute and I can always make myself another one. So here it is in my bathroom. Um, it took me four hours to cut out all of the petals. Here it is from the side. But I just think it's super cute. And this is on, a, let's see, an 18 inch wreath. But I just had a lot of fun making it and um, my sister-in-law really loved it too, so yeah. And yeah, so now, I decided I'm not going to take a walk. It's Sunday. I want to just chill. And it's 7.30, so I'm going to get in the shower and chill out. So, anyway, I just thought I better hurry up and finish this vlog so I can get it up and post it and deal with it. So, yeah. Alright, everybody. I hope you had fun, fun weekend. Thanks for hanging out with me. I hope there's nothing I'm forgetting. Tomorrow I have to do laundry because I didn't do it all weekend long, so we must. Oh yes, I was going to say, I decided to give my sister-in-law that wreath instead of these. Excuse me. But then I came home and I'm like, why didn't I just give her both? I could have given her this and the wreath. Oh well, it doesn't matter. Excuse me. Oh my gosh, sorry. Oh my gosh. But anyway, this is the saltwater breeze. It smells good and summery. I'm not going to use it until summer. And then this is that sea salt and lavender. It smells good too. It smells like lavender and baby powder, maybe a little bit of coconut or something like that. It's, it's kind of sweet, but when you, you know, when they're shower gels, they're not bad. So if it was the perfume or the lotion, it might be too sweet, but the shower gel will be good. But I won't be using that, that one for a while because I've got other stuff that I'm using right now. But anyway, okay, now I'm going to go for good. So I hope you had a great weekend and I hope you have a wonderful Slippy. And we'll see you again next time. Come on, everybody. <laughs> That's what they're chicken tats. They're not chicken tatas.